People generally don't like other people who aren't like themselves. Of course familiarity breeds contempt, but lack of familiarity doesn't exactly breed respect. So it's always us against them, until, of course, we subdue them, whomever they may be. Then, if our now defeated enemies are lucky, they are made into noble savages. We can see the transformation occurring in this photo of the Apache warrior Geronimo, probably taken by A. Frank Randall on the San Carlos Reservation in May 1884. Geronimo and his followers have just agreed to return to San Carlos after one of their periodic sabbaticals. Why he agreed to be photographed is anybody's guess. The remaking of Geronimo was actually well underway before Randall took his now famous shot. Those who conquered the Native Americans usually began by renaming them. Here it is no different. So the Chiricahues were made into Apaches, a Zuni word for Navajos, and their most famous representative, Coyotle, was made into Geronimo, ironically enough, after St. Jerome. Randall now takes the domestication process a step further by refashioning the way Geronimo appears. Randall's aim is clear, to make the image of Geronimo consistent with the many stories of his savagery. Randall wants Geronimo to appear absolutely ferocious, and Geronimo seems to have played along, though for entirely different reasons. The two of them, photographer and subject, almost succeed. An angry scowl crosses Geronimo's face. He seems to be saying, you're next, white man. He clutches, or should we say brandishes, his rifle. This, he says, will be the instrument of your destruction. But then we look a bit closer and the entire effect is ruined. Randall tried to evoke the Southwest with Geronimo's surroundings, but the only thing evoked here is a titter at the attempt to render an Indian version of the bourgeois parlor standard in all 19th century portraiture. In these stock photos, respectable gentlemen were surrounded by oriental rugs, fine chairs, lush draperies, and Greek columns. But what should you surround respectable savages with? Randall knew. Dirt, cactuses, tumbleweeds, and scrub brush. That, he says, is the noble savage's context. But not for long. For soon, all the noble savages would be herded into reservations where they were made to live like white men. Thus, they lost not only their land and way of life, but also their nobility and savagery.